Okay, we're back with Sid Meier's Civilization 5. I'm just checking banking and the signs and everything right there. Um, what happened? England has denounced an unmet player. I wonder who that could be. Probably France, but I'm not sure. You have the observatory building. Let's wait for the world, the world, the world, as Jeremy Clarkson would say it, to render in. There we go. Who needs orders? Spearmen need orders. Um, move up there, I guess. I don't know. I mean, just. Uh. What do I have these guys doing? I don't remember. Just head back to the city, town, civilization. And by the, I mean mine. Okay, uh. <laughs> Alert. And you should also be heading back. If you don't mind. Swordsman. You get up there and rescue the people up to the north. I've kind of neglected the, neglected the north. The only thing that I've really done up north is send these guys. Other than that, I've pretty much neglected the north. And next turn, we wait for the very long next turn. However, fortunately for me, I have cornflakes. To save the day. So instead of hearing, listening to me trying to think of what to say. Between times, you got to listen to my eat cornflakes. Cornflakes are kind of mushy. But they're still good. Also, they're like almost gone. That's not good because I ate most of them before the recording started. Oh no. Oh, the game was loading. Progressive people, social policies. Well, I'm like, what, halfway? I'm exactly in the middle, pretty much. Alright, um, let's see. Yeah, just sleep, alert, whatever. You pull back. Banking will soon be done. What shall be, what shall be built in Tiat? I want walls. Or no, that was on walls. But what I clicked was what I wanted. I just saw walls and red walls. But I did click what I want to build in. Oh my god. Okay. Those scouts days may be soon done. A lot of swordsmen. 100 gold. Sure, let's, let's, uh, there's not really that much I can move. Um, okay, let's, uh, move that up, them up to there. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure. That's, that's, okay. Send you over there. And you'll be guarded by the swordsmen. And you get to keep heading back. I should probably just like automatically have him run back, but I won't because Yay, go me. I'm too lazy to do that. Plus, I don't trust the automatic pathfinding in this game. Sometimes you can just be like, okay, I want you to go all the way over there, and then they'll do something completely stupid. In the sake of speed, like run into a bandit or go on the sea and then get sunk or trespass in like a city state or something and that won't be good however there are no city states as far as I can tell uh, I'll... what do I'll do next after banking I'm the kind of person that hmm I really like cereal and will have cereal for pretty much any meal, any day, at any time. Like Thanksgiving dinner, just give me cereal and I'll be happy. Yeah, really, cereal is wonderful. There's so many different varieties and everything. Cornflakes is one of my favorite though, so... I'm endorsing uh, Kellogg's right there, so hopefully Kellogg's will endorse me back, obviously. Never gonna happen, but I can dream. I think, uh, these swordsmen keep getting pushed further and further back. Joy. Okay. There's a boat there. That's, uh, doggy, what are you doing? Okay, that's weird. Okay, upgrade you, I think your strength went up by, like, what, five? Or your power, or whatever. Acoustics. The Kremlin printing brush. Gunpowder. Navigation. Let's go with acoustics. So stuff will sound prettier. Ah. 
At least the people are happy. By like one happiness point. That's always good. I wonder if the happiness goes negative if like your golden age thing will go in reverse. Or if it'll just like impact like build times or stuff. Or anything out. Also, I'm kind of sad because I ate this way too fast. Right. Then we have been spotted near Tanaka. How did these guys live? They stumble into like a whole camp of bandits. Then they stumble into more. These guys are just stumbling into bandits every turn they take. They're just like, oh look, I'm brought over here, bandit. Over here, bandit. Back over there, bandit. Definitely not. The best of luck for these poor guys. Okay, worker, slowly but surely move up there. Guards, guard them. And next turn. Uh, look at all these stupid. I need to just build like a ship and just like destroy the enemy. What is that? Oh, okay. I thought that was a boat. And I was like, what? what kind of weird boat is that? Okay, let's see. Let's get another drink. Oh. Mm. oh, there we go. England has announced somebody else. The first time was probably like France. This time it's probably like Spain. Maybe Germany. Because those guys really did not get along. The good old days. By the good old days, I mean when everybody died at like 40. And when the slightest sense of sickness was met with like let's cut them open and let them bleed out and that'll surely save them that's what I mean by the good old days <sighs> all right just fall back everybody oh my god these guys are trapped these guys are officially trapped no they're not they can still get out all right just get out and uh hyulas all right time to get out I'm gonna fall back I need to put a city like right here I always put a unit there to keep the enemy from moving up and around. I do not want to farm. I would like a trading post. Yes, please. <laughs> and you guys do nothing. And next turn. Yay. Oh. Cornflakes are done. That's sad. You get more once the recording's done. I love how the cows are just kind of standing there, like, whatever, while they're on fire. It looks like that one cow there is literally on fire. It's just like, moo, whatever. I want to love Observatory 3, that one, that and 14. Good God. I did not put, I was not smart when I decided to build that thing in Cuba. Well, let's build it in Cuba. No, that didn't work out. Tenochtitlan is stuck. What? Well, not sure how or why. Maybe once you get the cows back up, they won't be as starving. Let's see. Uh, cheese production. In Tiahuacatan. We want a bank so we can get more money. Yes, please. All right. Everybody just pull back. We're evacuating. That was the most failed expeditionary force ever. They didn't even do anything except just build a road that the enemy's probably going to use now. That was great. Alright, you guys are camping right there. Get there. Go on alert and stay. Okay, you guys stay. And you move to the foxes and then heal. Yes, please. <gasps> Pretty much this is just a mass exodus from South America. I figured that my expeditionary force was not going to work. So I will leave and maybe try to mend relations with uh, these guys, the uh, Incan. And next turn, there we go. Now I have to think of something stupid to say. Actually, no I don't because there's still water I can drink. Oh boy. Let's see. Mm. Ah, there we go. Okay. 
Let's just look at my pitiful empire in comparison to other people's empires and realize that this is most likely not going to be in amazing uh, outcome for my game. I'm most likely going to either get trounced horribly or just kind of fade away in the history books as like a completely meaningless civilization. Neither of those sound too appealing. Neither of those. And I kind of went... I, I did normal and I've never done normal before, at least in this game. Civ 4 I was pretty good, but not, not, I never got as good at this game. However, I do like this game more than Civ 4. For the, the biggest reason I like this game more than Civ 4 is simply because you can't have like the uber stack which I did not like at all, where pretty much it was just you could have as many military units on a single space as you wanted and just move them all as a group and you could have just like a group of hundreds of military units just like brrr, just moving along and just nothing could stop them except another group of like a hundred military units and it just got kind of stupid as they sat there just like throwing spears or trying to stab each other they or shooting at each other for ever as the entire stack took their turn got kind of kind of stupid it just pretty much placed value on whoever whoever had the most units would probably win because you could you know if you if you had like a hundred of these guys versus like a tank the hundred of these guys would win it placed kind of less on research and more on uh just building a bunch of people just swarming the enemy with death stacks pretty much didn't really find that to be that much fun truth be told just keep going back workers you two pikemen all right what do we want to build that's done we want to build a bank science got increased I like that we have the where's the observer tomorrow is it up there no where is he is it I don't even see the observatory. I was I, I, I would have thought it would have kind of uh, shown up because you know you can see like the lighthouse and the porcelain tower and the uh, whatever thing in Greece, the uh, Oracle of Delphi. There we go. That's like a stadium. There's a pyramid. I do not see the observatory though. Huh? Hello. Would you be interested in a trade agreement with England? She said. Are you interested in a trade agreement? But this says a declaration of friendship. Didn't she say a trade agreement? I'm not really listening. Cause my hair is wet. Cause I took a shower just before I started recording this. So I have my headphones around my neck and I'm listening through that. I can't really hear that well. The game, at least, I can hear perfectly fine. But since the headphones are hanging around my neck, I can't really hear that well. It's not like she said you want to make a trade agreement, though. Well, trade agreements are from a research agreement, but that's more what I thought that would be. They're not actually trading anything. We're just like, hey, we're friends. Okay. That's cool. Yay, friends. I am perfectly fine. I need friends overseas. Great. Who knows? Maybe the world will just, like, live in peace, and it'll just be whoever can build a spaceship the fastest, or whoever is most popular with the UN wins. I don't know. Uh, printed gunpowder. Wow, gunpowder got, like, super shortened there. I'll take it. I will take it, indeed. <sighs> Let's see. Turn 207. Hello! Dios bendiga a aquellos que lo merezcan. Soy Isabel de España. Sounds like the person that was, like, the, her voice actress. Sounds like she's really young. Not sure how long Isabella's reign lasted or how old she was when she took the throne, but she sounded really young in that. Blah, 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 blah. Are you a heathen or a believer? I do not know, since religion is not uh, an aspect in Civ 5. It isn't gods and kings. However, this is not gods and kings. So, uh, so at least she's friendly. At least the only person that was really angry at me, as far as I can tell, are my enemies to the south. Even though they're the one people I should be getting along with, because we have the most in common. Both, like, 
Uh, sure. Why is not? the following trade? <laughs> we're both kind of Native Americans to the the south. I mean, you know, these guys too. How how do these guys feel? To, let me just okay. Where's they're what neutral. Do do? Okay. Let me know, how, okay. How do I do that? diplomacy? So it's Spain's friendly, America's friendly, Inca's angry. England is friendly and they're neutral. So my worst relations are with the people that I should seemingly be getting along best with. And I find it kind of funny that uh, I'm friendly with Spain because it, as long as you, well, if you know your history, you know that uh, <laughs> Spain pretty much trounced the Aztecs along with pretty much anybody else that stood in their way in terms of uh the new world. Let's see. Unit needs new orders. Alright, what the hell is that? Oh, that's Span. Span. Span? That's Span? Yeah, that's Span right there. Look at that Span ship. It says Spain. Alright, that's built. Move over there. You long swordsmen are moving out to press the offensive. Alright, and you people just get to turbo on back. Maybe, uh, yeah, city somewhere in here would probably be very beneficial to me. So that might be next on the list of uh, stuff I need to build so I don't run into anything. And I ended up going onto the stupid, um, how do I do that? Stupid land because there was fog there and I had no idea what was there, but it's like automatically land, yay. And it just kind of gets off automatically. That's terrific. Okay. Eventually, hopefully, that'll be finished soon. Eventually, I don't know. I'll probably start recording once uh gunpowder is done because I need to do something for school, even though it's not that hard. I just want to get it done with. So like, take a true colors test, which is pretty much like what color defines you in terms of like the business world. And I've already done that last semester for a different class. And I know that I'm green. And it has to do with like, I don't even remember, I'll need to look up what green is. I just need to do that. That's easy and I need to like fill in something about contacts in each of like, why can't I go in the water? Oh my god, no, these people are landlocked. They haven't been back to my territory yet. Oh, monkeys. Do do do, are they gone? Yeah, they're gone. Cuba, Cuba, what? I'm so confused. Cuba's supposed to be there. Why are they even the ones that build Cuba? That makes no sense. If anybody were making Cuba, it should be the Aztecs. Just really, I don't really think of Cuba having anything to do with the Iroquois. It did not even, the Iroquois was way up here, up in this area, and Cuba's way down here. It should be like either the Aztecs, because that there's Aztec land. I don't remember the Aztec Empire. I don't even know their official name was other than just the Aztecs. There's an Aztecs. And there's Cuba like right, right across the, the the Gulf of Mexico or maybe that's the Atlantic Ocean by there. I don't know. No, don't go there. Okay, whatever. Just speed run there, I guess. See if I care. Not really sure why they get Cuba and why they build Cuba in uh like Texas. Of course, that is relatively close to Cuba, considering that they should be, you know, up here. Whatever. Swordsman, away! Alright, next turn. And then, yeah, it's just like different... That was so weird, they just turned into boats on... And now they're going there. What are you doing, man? This is so stupid. Just get back there. Don't even... Yes, just get back there. See what I mean by the pathfinding? Like, oh! You want to get up here? Okay, best way to do that by fastest is let's sail probably through here all the way up to there where you have no idea what's in there and it's probably bandits since there's like 15 bandits hanging around up there. Oh boy. Oh boy indeed. Let's see, two turns for that bank and then that bank will be done. That should stabilize my economy. Hopefully. Alright, Spearman, just sit there alert. Also, I want to build a road to pretty much down there so I can get up 
to the north part, a little road that goes there and there, so I can get up north faster. Not really for uh, military purposes yet. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but definitely, as of right now, not for military purposes. Alright, pikemen away. Swordsmen float away, yay. And then archers to keep on sailing. And next turn, we shall end it here once we unlock the secrets of gunpowder. Yay. An unmet player has entered the Renaissance. Well, at least I'm on the last person to enter the Renaissance. That's good. That good old Aztecian Renaissance. Aztecan. Aztec. I guess Aztec is just like the all-around term. Like, that's an Aztec city. It's the Aztec Empire. He's an Aztec. I guess that's just like the all-around term. Because I've never really heard, like, Aztec here. Like, it's an Egyptian city, and this is Today, the e e Egypt, the Empire of the Egyptian. Egyptian. I don't know. All civilized nations, it is to be hoped, will recoil from war. And discharge their troops. Oh, sorry, Mr. Nobel, but that didn't happen. Yeah, right, let's see. What are we researching next? We're gonna research the printing press. Pretty sure the printing press had already been invented by uh, 1505, but maybe not. And we want a opera house, yay. And we will call it quits here. So I'll thank you for watching. I'm gonna save. 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 <coughs> Here we go. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later on Civ 5 when we continue to do absolutely nothing except research stuff. And hopefully maybe I can build another city soon-ish. So, bye bye